Right, I'm just going to take you through what the Advanced Tire Graphcom course is about. <clears throat> These are just some examples of um, projects that have been done in the past. So one of the reasons for choosing Advanced Tire Graphics is because you have an idea in your mind about what you want to do in the future. Um, so the girl that did, did this project was applying for interior design. So she chose a project where she could design the interior of a building. In this case, it was a cafe and she was designing it. So there was a section of the cafe aimed at youth. So you can see the sound system, trendy seating and all that stuff. So she um, was doing advanced hire because she knew she could develop her skills in interior design and she was focusing on illustration techniques and because she redesigned the logo and if you look down here she created a, a kind of menu board and there was also a wee digital um, ordering system that she designed it was all, all tied in with <clears throat> how this interior space would work and um, another project from last year was the redesign of the olympic torch um, so this guy um, was applying for what an, called an industrial design course um, where you had to design products and he needed a portfolio to apply for that course. And you can see that he's used his 3D modeling skills, his technical graphic skills and um, his visual. So he had to create, create printed and digital media as well. Um, so he designed a poster that went alongside his redesign of the Olympic torch. So one of the main reasons for doing advanced site graphics is because you've got a course in mind and you want a portfolio of work to help you apply. Now, maybe you don't have an idea of what you want to do in the future, but maybe you want to just develop some of these skills. So computer aided 3D modeling, that was in evidence in the design of the chair in the interior design project and obviously the design of the, the Olympic torch. Technical graphics. So if you know you're going to go down an engineering or manufacturing route, you would um, want to develop skills in technical graphics. Um, everyone will develop the skills in sketching and rendering. And we have digital options as well as manual options for that. And I'm just trying to link each of these skills up with possible careers. CAD illustrations, so that was like the torch when it was rendered up. And you can animate that. So animation, illustration, advertising with time with those sorts of careers. And then desktop publishing, you could see in the Olympic poster. And um, he also designed a website for the torch relay around Japan. So any printed or digital media it would help with careers in that as well. And I've just put up another wee list of what are called the creative industries. And um, advanced tag graphics is very good, uh, useful for these as well. Um, and perhaps one of the things that would encourage you to do advanced tag graphics is because you have a project in mind that you think um, is exciting and that would make a difference to people. So here's a guy called Alex in America who's received a prosthetic arm. And you can see it's kind of based on some Star Wars um, uh, stormtrooper type stuff to make it a bit more appealing to him. And he's meeting the designer and um, down at the bottom, it kind of, you realize why um, you need a process to create something like this. So this, is called a 3D scanner. Uh, they would scan the, the kind of socket of the arm, the end of his existing arm, create a 3D model from that, and um, to make sure the prosthetic limb fits accurately. So there'd be computer modeling skills in creating this. And then obviously the outcome is a 3D printed um, object. And then they add all the electronics and other components. Um, so sometimes it's just the thing that inspires you as well. These skills could really uh, make a difference to somebody.